Hello everyone, my name is Todd and you're on the J-Line. Today is going to be part three of our series of cleaning rust off of guns. So if you've been watching this video series, we started with part one where we had a Heritage Rough Rider revolver that we use Hops 9 and a copper cleaning sponge on. In our last video, part two, that I put out about three weeks ago, we used Safari Charlie gun lube as well as a copper scrubber and a brass cleaning brush. And in my opinion, that worked great. Um, I would definitely recommend using that for, uh, you know, for some light rust cleaning. So be sure you check out those two videos. Today, what we're going to be using is something a little different, and I didn't even know they made this. But today we're using Stable Gun CLP. Now, if you're like me, I've always associated Stable with the uh, fuel additive that you put in your small engines or your lawn equipment um, during the winter time. But I found this at uh, good old Wally World, and. Um, the directions say this can be used to clean and protect guns from corrosion and wear. And so along with our stable, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to try to use a copper penny. So I've read about this and I've watched a couple of videos on this. And, you know, we've been using copper scrubbers to clean our last two firearms. And the reason we're doing that is that everything that I've seen is that um, four all, you know, three alls or four all steel wool, um, you run the risk of potentially putting scratches in the barrel and that using the copper scrubbers, uh, copper is actually a softer material than the gun barrel itself and shouldn't scratch it. But one thing I want all my viewers to keep in mind is, you know, I'm just an average guy, just a hobbyist trying to uh, get the rust off some of my guns. So we're going to be trying a copper penny. Now, the key is I think that these need to be pre-1980 four maybe or so I just made sure both of mine were pre-1980 but these are copper mesh scours um, I'm gonna keep those handy probably be using those depending on how the pennies work out I'm gonna have my brass cleaning brush as well on hand the gun we're gonna be looking at today is a Stevens model 84 C 22 rifle um, so this is a gun uh, basically my dad had one very similar to this that was my first gun squirrel hunting when I grew up. Several years ago, I decided, you know, I wanted to try to find a gun like that. So I bought this gun at a, uh, at a pawn shop and completely refinished the stock on it. And the first thing we want to do is disassemble the gun because I'm not sure if our stable is safe to use on the wood stock. Okay, so to break down the gun, we're going to need just a couple of flathead screwdrivers. Go ahead and take the bolt out. Just going to open the bolt up, make sure the gun the safety is off so that the trigger will pull. We'll pull the trigger back, slide the bolt right out. You can see we've got some rust here on the bolt um, as well that we want to try to get cleaned off. Um, so we're going to set that aside and we'll work on that. Okay, for the rest of the gun, I want to start with the trigger guard here with a couple of smaller flathead screws. So I've got a smaller screwdriver here. Back screw. Trigger guard, a larger screwdriver here. Uh, we've got screw here. And we got that out here. One more on the bottom, but we'll see what it gives us. So, got that plate off now. And just going to gently, gently lift the barrel up and it comes right out of our stock. So, again, that's the stock that I refinished several years ago. Then here we get a little bit better look at the uh, the rust on the barrel. That's when you start to notice it. So we can get started. Okay, so we've got our pennies handy here. I'm gonna put that on. So uh, I'm gonna let this sit about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, we are gonna get started. And we're just gonna use our penny and start rubbing over the gun.
So I do notice on our bolt a little bit that we're getting some, uh, you can't hardly tell it, but there's a, there's a color difference, like it's hazed here. So we're getting some scratches from the penny on this. I'm not gonna use the penny anymore. I'm gonna switch to the copper scrubber and see if that makes a difference on that. Uh, Cause it's not something, you know, not something I'm gonna polish out right now. Okay, we've got all our parts been cleaned up. The bolt, um, I was getting some scratches in it and I never was quite able to get the knob where it looked good. But on the end of the bolt here where it had rust on it, turned out much better. So we got most of that off. The barrel itself here. And so what you see that, that haze is actually the copper from the uh, scouring and the penny that is transferred to the surface. And so one thing that I noticed about this stable CLP, as well as the hops number nine, it, I mean, it's more of an oil consistency. So the, you know, the copper is blending with the oil and then it's just kind of smearing on the surface, which you could tell in some of the video where it just kind of turned a bronze color. But one thing that I noticed when I did the project with the Safari Charlie was that it seemed to cut that copper very well. It cut it off. So before I reassemble the gun, uh, which will be the next thing you see, uh, done. I will be uh, I'm gonna spray this down with Safari Charlie to try and get rid of the bronze haze on the barrel And then just wipe it down with a rag. I'm gonna reassemble the gun and uh, I'll see you back with the finished gun And just like that this project's finished. We've got the rifle put back together just like all the other guns on this channel Now it just looks old instead of old and rusted. So like always I'm gonna let you decide Do you think that the copper penny along with stable gun CLP is a good option for removing the surface rust from your firearm? And also leave a comment if you've watched all three parts of this series and are going to continue watching this journey of cleaning the rust off of these guns. And this is what will be in our next video, a Savage Model 110 30-06. And we're going to be using a little bit of Birchwood Casey and see how that does at removing rust. Leave a comment below what you think we ought to use to get the rust off. We've used a copper penny, we've used the copper scours, and I've had a comment before about using a, a brass shell casing. But if you've got any other ideas, leave them down below. I'm going to pick one to get the rust off of this 30 all 6 Hey, I hope you've been enjoying these videos. If you have, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment for what you want to see, and make sure you ring that little bell so you'll get notified when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching, and like always, we'll catch you next time right here on the J-Line.